Let me show you how I turn this photo into this photo by using Lightroom Classic and some photo manipulation in Photoshop as well. Let's take a look. As you can see, I've gone ahead and imported the photo that I will be working with today. And this is a particularly nice sunset that I shot recently. Um, you can see that the foreground is slightly dark and the sky is slightly overexposed due to the sun setting, but we can fix that quickly in Lightroom Classic. Um, some other things that need adjusting here is the, the horizon line, which is obviously not, not straight, and we need to do some lens correction. So I'm going to immediately go ahead and enable the two options in the lens correction panel, and I'm going to also straighten my image by clicking on the angle tool, clicking on one point on my horizon and stretching that point towards the other end of the horizon. And as you can see, my horizon is now straight. I will go ahead and fix the few issues that I can see with the photo immediately, so I will adjust the highlights in order to bring back some of those colors in the highlight areas. I will also bring up the shadows just slightly and I will bring up the whites right here and bring down slightly the darks, making sure that I'm not clipping too many of my shadow areas. We can also create a linear gradient at this bottom part of the, of the image. You can lower the exposure just slightly and increase the whites just to increase some contrast right there. I will go back to the main basic adjustments. Now, as you can see, the image is slightly on the blue side and this is actually something I would like to retain. It might be a good idea to move the temperature uh, towards the warmer side just slightly and maybe add a bit of magenta tint to this color. As you can see, the tones in the, uh, in the sky have changed just a little bit, but they look much better now. Uh, we can add a bit of vibrance to the, to the image and maybe increase some clarity in order to see better contrast in these areas right here. We can also create just a quick brush mask paint over these areas that should be glowing with, with this um, water that is on them. And just like I did in other tutorials, I will be increasing the exposure just slightly right here, increasing the whites. As you can see, I've increased the glow in these particular areas. And this already looks much better than what we started with. So if we compare the before and after, you can see that the image looks much, much better now. Now, what I would like to do is I would like to uh, adjust my composition just slightly. I can see that, that there's a bit of dead space in the sea right here. So as you can see from the, the rocks right here towards the horizon, there is a bit of dead space and I can adjust that very easily in Photoshop. So I will go ahead and edit my photo in Adobe Photoshop. As you can see, I have the image right here in Photoshop already. So I'm going to press Ctrl J on my keyboard to duplicate the layer. Alternatively, you can right click the background layer and click duplicate layer right here. So the idea of this manipulation will be to select this part of the image, the top part of the image, move my tool um, across but parallel to my to my rock formation right here and select only the top part with this particular uh, parallel line. So I'm going to duplicate that part by using Ctrl J once again and in order to show you exactly what I will be doing um, I will create another layer and paint this layer in red. And as you can see now only my selection uh, at the top part of the image is showing. Now, what I would like to do is I would like to uh, hold control on my keyboard and click this little window next to the layer and this will select my um, visible stuff in this layer. I'm going to go ahead and select inverse by right clicking on this top part and select inverse. And as you can see now, only my bottom part is selected. What I will do here is I will right click once again 
select feather and I will set the value to 100 and press OK. This will gradually select parts of my image at the top which is visible to us at the moment. And as soon as I press the delete key, you will immediately see what I mean. I'm going to press the delete key, and as you can see, that 100 feather is feathering into my top part of the image. If I press it a few times more, you can see that that feather increases the intensity. If I use a bigger feather, you will see that my feather is even more gradual. Now, with that done, I can delete my red layer and I can now click on my top layer, which is the top part of the image. I can select this move tool right here and I can move my layer down towards the rest of the foreground. And as you can see, we've literally eliminated the dead space between uh, the foreground and our center of attention, which is the horizon and this little island right here. We can go ahead and crop the image to only show what's visible in our area. And we can even crop just a bit of this bottom part right here and press enter. If you save this image, it will immediately show up in Lightroom Classic once it is saved. And as you can see, we have the image right here already. Now, let's compare the before and after of this manipulation and you can see that we've removed completely this dead space in between the rocks and the horizon without anything obvious showing that we have actually manipulated this image. Now, since we have already done the editing on the photo uh, before doing the actual photo manipulation, we can go right ahead and export it immediately. So I hope you like this tutorial and I hope you can uh, apply this kind of photo manipulation to your photos as well. Uh, remember that Photoshop is a very, very powerful tool um, and in collaboration with Lightroom and Lightroom Classic, you can create really amazing photos. Please make sure to like and subscribe and thank you for watching as always.